some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a Sovtar double feature for you. In the first video, Eric Martin is back and, uh, well, he's still just as dumb as ever as he goes against another judge only to have the judge dismiss all his BS arguments uh, as if they uh, don't hold any water, which they don't exactly hold much water. And in the second video, we have Brotherly Love coming directly out of Texas with a pair of moronic Sovtard brothers who will get uh, in bad shape with the Border Patrol and come up with every single stupid argument imaginable, such as uh, violation of Sixth Amendment rights and everything like that, and they end up getting themselves arrested. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. People versus Martin, case 241388SM. <clears throat> Today's the uh, date and time set for a settlement conference. Also, there was a uh, motion by Mr. Martin, um, motion to dismiss the case. The court has uh, read through the motion. Uh, there was no accompanying brief and support. Well, Oh, so there was no accompanying document with the motion to dismiss. And I'm sure the uh, motion to, to dismiss was written in uh, finger paint and uh, broken crayons. And it probably read something like this. My me name is Eric Martin. I am the greatest Sovtar that ever lived. I quote laws that don't even exist. Or I misquote laws altogether and try to piece together other bullshit to try to get by. Oh yeah, and I also studied law for over 20 years, and look at where it got me. Nowhere! That's if you call studying the law, sitting in the dirt with my fingers in my ears, going na 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 Yeah, I'm sure that's what he uh, wrote in it. I'm sure that must be it. There's also uh, objections to the denial of the uh, personal bond. I'm going to consider that as a motion for reconsideration. All right, Mr. Martin, was there anything else you wanted to place on the record, sir? Oh, yes. Um, well, first, I'm not a fraudulently assumed defendant. I am a living sovereign man. Um, I, can see, uh, I can see that you are a living man. Uh, you are currently talking and... Uh, we're having a conversation, so, okay. Oh, good job, Judge. Thank you for pointing out that this idiot is definitely a living man and not the corporate entity that these Sovtards like to pretend actually exists. There is no corporate self. There is no living self. There is just the self. That is just some uh, fantastical uh, pseudo-legal mumbo-jumbo that you Sovtards like to pull out of your ass to make everything sound Legit. Well, dude, you're not fooling anybody here. Right, but well, but John, you know, under the law, there's fraudulent presumptions under Canon Law 3228 that, you know, that say otherwise. And there's a lot of support what I'm saying. So that's why I say what I say to, you know, to the record. But oh, there are laws to back up what you have to say. Yeah, it kind of sounded like you were stumbling on uh, what you were trying to say at that moment. But uh, as far as canon law goes, uh, dude, uh, you're way off the base on this one, considering that, well, let me, in on, let, me let you in on a little secret, that uh, the United States is not based on canon law, because canon law is Catholic law. This country is not a predominantly Catholic country. So, dude, you are barking up the wrong freaking tree, as usual. So, is it any wonder why you uh, lose your cases so often? Anyways, yes, I do have other things to say. Um, first, I also want to file a, a demand to dismiss this case based on speedy trial violation under Mission Court Rule 6.04C. 28 days for speedy trial and misdemeanor cases. I've been in jail over that since the 8th of last month in June. 
Um, uh, soft heart, I've got a question for you. Uh, yeah, is it actually a misdemeanor or is it a felony? Because that particular statute you quoted covers both felonies and misdemeanor cases. And according to this, in the felony version, it is 180 days. So... Uh, just to be a bit more honest and clear with everybody, is it a felony or is it a misdemeanor case? Because that would make all the difference in the world right now. And also, I'll go ahead and also say, uh, I ask that you give me all the time to speak, say anything I want to say, you know, instead of like shutting the court proceedings off if that's happened before, make sure I, you know, I'm done with everything I have to say, but. That's it for right now. Um, but I, like I said, I might just say depending on what you say in response. So. All right. Well, your uh, motion to dismiss is denied. <laughs> your motion for reconsideration with regard to personal bond is also denied. Gotcha, bitch. Um, uh, do we are we setting this for a bridge trial or a jury trial? Well, I asked that question, I have to respond now to your denial. Now, based on what reasons are those denied, I have things to say in response to that. Well, sir, there's not, there's, I'm not cutting you off, but there's nothing. It's my ruling. There's, if you want to file a motion for reconsideration as to anything, you're more than welcome to follow the court rule and do so. Um, but there's, there's really nothing to add to my ruling. Um, so if I'm, asking the, I'm just asking the reason. I'm not asking the ask. What are the reasons that the um, the bond, for example, is denied? Okay, first of all, what's what reasons is it being already, denied? I've already stated that last time, sir. So, are we at my the next question here? Is do you want a bench trial or jury trial? Well, I have more to say in response to the um, the do you want a bench denied. trial or a jury trial, sir? Stop avoiding the question. Not as much to take up jury. Jury trial. All right, we're going to set this for a jury trial. But I want to make it clear, and, uh, I'm, not, I'm not consenting to the given jurisdiction notice, of the You'll court. be given notice of when that will be, sir. Okay, I'm not consenting to the jurisdiction of the court still. and uh, You are subject to the jurisdiction of this court, sir. You live in the state of Michigan. You live in the jurisdiction. And under the Michigan Constitution and the, in the United States Constitution, this court does have jurisdiction over this case and over you as the alleged defendant. <laughs> So here's the thing. Just because he is a uh, Michigan citizen, that means he's subject to the uh, laws of Michigan. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, my goodness, Eric. However did you miss that? I mean, that's pretty much common damn sense right there. I mean, how could a law scholar like yourself who's had more than 20 years of experience studying law under his belt not be able to figure that one out i mean good freaking grief it's almost as if you are as they say full of shit uh, the warrant was signed the warrant, was caused. the warrant had probable cause the warrant was signed that's all that's uh, needed to bring a uh, charge and uh, it's brought in the proper place uh, which is here because you live in Taylor and this is Taylor. So this is where the case would be. So your motions were denied and we're going to set this for a jury trial. We'll be giving you the date and time of when that jury trial will be. Now, let, the, uh, deputy, let the deputy know that. Well, that's uh, that's what I mean. See, I'm not done yet. I have more to say. I'm well, you're done now. The judge done kicked you out of the uh, Zoom meeting, dude. Uh, you uh, are just going to have to live with the fact that you are a complete and total uh, imbecile when it comes to the law. And I mean that, uh, well, this judge has answered one of your questions that you keep on asking, but the judges so far have not been able to convince you, even though they have the same answers, because you live in the county, town, and state of Michigan, and you also are a resident of the United States. Therefore, you are subject to the laws of every one of those uh, political subdivisions, you numb nuts. Now that we're done with uh, this uh, idiot Eric Martin for the day, let's head over to Texas where we encounter a pair of Sovtard slash Frauditor wannabes who, well, uh, 
just are too dumb for their own good when they get stopped by the border patrol. So let's go ahead and uh, roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? I don't answer questions. You actually do have to answer if you're. Here. I actually don't have to answer any goddamn questions because I have a Fifth Amendment right not to answer any this questions. Federal immigration checkpoint. Yes, you do have to answer right. if you're a U.S. citizen. And we're a hundred miles away from the border. No, you're not. I have not. You're not. You're within well, I am within the United States. I have a Fifth Amendment right not to answer any okay, questions well, a without a lawyer present. I'm invoking my Sixth Amendment right. Do whatever the. You gotta do. Okay, so uh, first of all, you're invoking your Fifth Amendment right uh, to not testify against yourself in a uh, criminal court case. Well, dude, this is not a criminal court case. This is a traffic stop with the Border Patrol, not a courtroom. And then you want to invoke your Sixth Amendment right to a speedy trial? Uh, dude, there is no trial going on here. You have not been arrested. You have not been charged with anything as of this point. You are simply being uh, stopped by the Border Patrol for a standard inspection because you're fairly close to the border. As such, none of your arguments at this point make any damn sense to anybody who has, a uh, well, a higher than fourth grade education. I have no statements to make, and I'm not answering any questions. You do have to answer reviews. I don't have to answer a goddamn thing. Fifth Amendment. Yes, you do. Actually. I don't have to answer you can any fucking that thing. Right there. You do have to answer if you get to the I don't have to answer a goddamn yes, thing. Then you can park right up there. You do we don't have to, have to park right up yes, there. We'd do. like to be free to go on about this our way. Federal immigration inspection. You do I understand that, citizen. and I have a federal Fifth Amendment right to fucking remain silent. I don't answer questions. Leave me the fuck alone. What the fuck do you want? Damn, uh, you got a, quite a potty mouth on you right there, boy. Didn't your mama ever teach you any better? Didn't she ever wash your mouth out with soap when you were growing up? I mean, come on now. Uh, you got to have a certain bit of decorum when it comes to dealing with anybody out there. And this is not how you deal with uh, people, especially the... Uh, Authority. I mean, damn, you're a freaking idiot. Just begging to be arrested. I don't answer questions. Kick you rocks. Get a fucking warrant. This is being videoed. That's fine. You can read the sign right there. I don't need to read the sign. I've read the law. I've read the Constitution. Oh, yeah. You've read the law. And you claim to have read the Constitution. Uh, well, let me ask you something. Uh... Mr. Frauded or soft tartish kind of guy. Uh, have you ever uh, actually gone past the Fifth Amendment? Because uh, if you have not, then uh, yeah, I might recommend the Tenth Amendment to you because it grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And guess what? I can guarantee to you that you have not read any laws or have gone past the Fifth Amendment because, well, it seems like you're not exactly the reading type. Yes. United We're also States in Texas. Texas. We're also in Texas. And I don't have to f***ing ID unless I'm under arrest. Yeah, dude. Not according to these laws right here. I mean, this one is the stop and identify law for Texas. And so at this point... You clearly have demonstrated your lack of ability to even find these laws, let alone read them. And then you got the uh, failure to ID uh, law uh, for a traffic stop, which is a whole other issue right there. So I found at least two laws that cover IDing in uh, the state of Texas, and both of them say that you have to identify to the officer. So, did you actually read the laws, or did you just uh, 
uh, called them unconstitutional and moved on. So kick rocks, You are within 100 miles, you. All right, then park right up there. Not going to park up there. Then we can call the... Call whoever the... You want? You're impeding traffic right now. No, you're impeding traffic. We'd like to be free about it to go on our way. I'm not you're the one who is stopping us here. You you're stopping us here. You don't need here. to disrespect us. This is a U.S. border. You don't need to disrespect me. And I am attempting to conduct an immigration inspection under Section 287A3 of the Immigration Nationality Act. Oh, dude, you're really stepping in it right now, considering that uh, this is an act passed by Congress, and it is on the record. And these Border Patrol agents have the ability to arrest people who they find to be suspicious, or people like you who are being belligerent for reasons. I mean, at this point, you could be hiding any number of things in there. So, dude, what the hell are you hiding in there that makes you so belligerent? I mean, come on now, dude. Be honest with us. And I'm invoking my Fifth US Amendment Supreme right to remain Court. silent. In the United States versus Martinez Fuerte, 1976, that the U.S. Border Patrol has the authority to set up permanent or fixed checkpoints. Yes. On public highways. Yes. You ha you are allowed to set up your checkpoints. I am not required. And that these checkpoints are not a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Do you understand that? I didn't say it was a violation of the you Fourth Amendment. In I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right. Inspection to allow us to complete the immigration inspection. Complete your inspection. If you do not move your vehicle, you can be arrested under Title 18. Does that mean we're free to go? Does that mean we're free to go? For this federal crime can be up to one year. I need I need the names. I need the names and badge numbers of every agent present right here, right now. And I'll be foiling that that, that camera footage. So you're not willing to move? Oh, we're absolutely willing to move. Are you going to let us be free to go about our what? No, not yet. Okay, then we're going to sit here. Fifth Amendment. Are you a U.S. citizen? Fifth Amendment. Are you a U.S. citizen? Who are you asking? Me or Both of y'all. I am, yes. You're a US citizen. Are you a U.S. citizen? I don't answer questions. So you're not going to answer the question that you're a U.S. citizen? Okay, then. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a complete and utter uh, dumbass here. I mean, uh, the one thing that could get him out of here, the answer to the question, he won't even bother to answer. I mean, if he's got the paperwork to prove that he's a U.S. citizen, then there shouldn't be a problem here. But like a damn dumbass, you would much rather go to jail because you want to act like a complete and utter ignorant asshole, sob tart, or frauder, or whatever the hell you are, and uh, get clicks and views and everything like that. I mean, come on now, dude. Have some sanity about you. Have some damn common sense. Oh, wait. I'm talking to a possible sovereign citizen here. Yeah, I don't think you have any common sense at all. Anybody else in the back? No. No? As a driver, are you willing to move your vehicle? As long as I am free to continue on my travel. You're not free to go no. until he answers the question, the immigration question. Fifth Amendment. Okay, so neither one. I have not crossed the U.S. border. I don't have to answer that question. I have a Fifth Amendment right, and I'm specifically invoking my Sixth Amendment right to be free from questioning without a lawyer. Sixth Amendment has been invoked. Do not ask any more questions. Yeah, I think they're done asking questions because at this moment, they are about to, uh, well, pull the both of you out of that uh, truck of yours. So, yeah, uh, your brother only has you to blame for him being arrested. Congratulations, dude. You're a moron. Sixth Amendment. Am I showing the vehicle off, sir? You don't have to. Okay, we're going to have to take you out. Then we're going to have to take you all out. If you're not yeah. willing to move your vehicle. It's a company vehicle truck, but I got it. Sir. We have to do the immigration inspection. We have, we have to do it. Before you're we welcome to f***ing inspect. All right. All right. Are, Are you a United States citizen? Is the immigration aspect. Sixth Amendment. 
Sixth, Sixth Amendment. Do you have reason to believe that I am not a United States okay, citizen? The question, sir, if you're a United States citizen, you're free to go. Do you have reason to believe that I am not a United States citizen? Uh, free mind stepping out. Do what you got to do. I don't care. It's a company vehicle. I know. I do whatever you got to do. Don't, don't. Don't reach in the vehicle. That's a Fourth Amendment violation. Can you shut the vehicle off, sir? Don't f***ing put your hands on him. Don't f***ing put your hands on him. You f***ing pieces of s***. Don't f***ing put your hands on him. F***ing guns, John. You f***ing pieces of Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. U.S. Border Patrol. Would you please move yourself in the vehicle, sir? Otherwise, you will be forcibly removed. Thank you, sir. Don't f***ing touch me. Please do me a favor. I do not hand. consent to any searches or seizures. Step forward, sir. Put your hands on the vehicle for me. I will not. Okay, sir. So you need you to comply at this moment, otherwise you'll be forced to comply. What crime am I being detained for? Martinez Fuerte, case law 428, sir, states that any vehicle at 100 nautical miles will be inspected for... Keep your goddamn hands off of my brother! What the f*** is wrong with you? I do not need to keep my hands out of my pockets. There is no law that says that I am required to keep my hands out of my f***ing pockets. Let's calm down, all right? We don't want any problems. I don't want any f***ing problems. Keep your goddamn hands off me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! That's assault. It's not assault. It is assault. Any unwanted touching is assault. I do not want to be touched by you or any of your f***ing officers. Why are you pointing a f***ing taser at me? Do I appear to be f***ing armed? You're acting aggressive. My hands in my pocket so that I'm not a threat. Please take your hand out of I don't know what's in your pocket. That's what the problem is. Keep your f***ing hands off me. Why are you touching me? Why the f*** are you touching me? Why are you f***ing touching, touching, touching me? Why are you in touching me well this uh foul mouthed uh, uh soft heart just decided to play f around and find out and speaking of foul mouthed i mean i had to use that damn sensor bleep at least 38 times in this particular video i mean come on now dude you can once in a while with the f-bomb is all right but don't make it a part of your damn vocabulary to where it's every other word that you use. I mean, come on now. That just shows a distinct uh, level, well, low level of your education. And that's probably why you're in this situation right now. Getting arrested at the border or around the border somewhere and putting on a full display to the world your lack of knowledge of the Constitution or other laws for that matter i mean come on now dude you're not as smart as you think you are and i think you just blew your chances of ever joining this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here you don't want to go to jail for what you read this yeah. i don't have to listen read to anything blah 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 i'm not listening gosh i'm not no. blah 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 blah, blah. Blah 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 You suck! They think they know it all! What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera, doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need to get dead no, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island, the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. 
Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.